Hey guys, I'm Mickey back here for another video, guys. I actually got a comment coming in from KCN2K who actually said, could you make an updated budget players video? And guys, if you ever need any kind of videos made, like let's say you have any kind of ideas or you know, you're questioning something, you're like, hey, I don't know if this is like this. Should I do it this way? Should I do it that way? And you want a video made, I definitely am always up to making a video because my motto is if you have a question, there's probably a thousand other people out there that have the same exact question as you and I'm going to make sure I cover it so that we can all benefit and have the best month experience ever so again thank you so much my man for commenting this and I will go ahead and make an updated video right here covering the new budget players that you can use in this game so again if you ever have a question guys feel free to comment you never hassle by commenting and asking a question. I'll try my best to, I will put every single comment, so I'll try my best to apply myself. But if I feel like, you know, oh my, I can't answer this question, or maybe more than one person has this question, I'll go ahead and make a video. So let's get into it. Quarterbacks wise. Now looking at quarterbacks, you're gonna see we're not really at a point. This Jared Goff is a very, very nice budget quarterback. Personally wise, he has decent throw power, 85, 86 throw short, 84 throw middle, and 83 throw deep with, you know, some really good accuracy. So he is a very nice budget quarterback. I know a lot of people use him online because he has some decent speed at about 75 speed. Uh, Tyrod Taylor, I know a lot of people use him too. The issue with him is going to be his throwing accuracy stats, obviously his throw power being really low, and of course his you know, throw accuracy also being very down there. Now when it comes to a lower type of budget, so let's say you don't have that many coins, we go down to a little bit lower tier. This Case Keenum is not too, too bad. As you can see, also a little bit better speed than Jared Goff. A worse throw power, so you're not going to be going ahead and dotting people up deep. But most likely, if you have more of a budget squad, you're not going to be going ahead and you know trying to dot people up deep because you don't want to go ahead and use players like this, like Case Keenum and you know the lower overall players. So Case Keenum is definitely a very nice budget type player. Outside of that, no other crazy budget. I would probably look at, uh, you know, obviously if we're talking about lower, like a 10K player, obviously Case Keenum beat around 15,000 coins. Going down the list even more, looking at this Blake Borders looks pretty poo poo. So I'm going to go ahead and look at Joe Flacco. Joe Flacco gives you the throw power stat. So if you have some really good receivers, maybe some really good speedsters, maybe some like Tyreek Hill type player, John Ross, maybe Joe Flacco can help you out with getting that ball deeper. But obviously the accuracy will go ahead and fail so probably would not go ahead and do that now going ahead and looking at halfback the main thing i want to talk about is going to be just the speed halfbacks and the reason why is because those are going to be the guys that you know i feel like speed really does not is really the most important thing in this game because as long as you have speed carrying really doesn't matter as much as long as you don't get a you know big hit stick on you but nonetheless this derrick henry i said this before in my last budget video and i'll continue to say it. this derrick henry is a very very good budget halfback and the more his price drops even more and more he even becomes 10 times better of a budget running back i definitely recommend going ahead and going with him because of the fact his stats are pretty pretty good now looking at more of a budget type of halfback, let's say you don't have that much to spend. Obviously this Dalvin Cook for 8,000 coins is even going to be, I mean he's pretty much the opposite of what that um, Derrick Henry was with the fact that he is a more of a you know, 88 speed, same speed, but he's more of a elusive type of runner, more of a Barry Sanders rather than you know Derrick Henry being more of a Bo Jackson if you want to compare those two guys um, you know, like running back wise. With that in mind, obviously Leonard Fournette is always glitchy no matter what card he has. He's always a very, very good card to use. Um, other cards you can go ahead and use, I would probably go ahead and say, let's see, Deion Lewis. Deion Lewis is definitely, well, actually, this card is really, really good. Uh, this Deion Lewis is a budget beast that's based on his stats. Cream Hunt always has good cards. It seems like no matter what Cream Hunt it is, it always has some kind of good stats. A really good card, and again... Uh, Tui Kelwin is a very good card. Now the issue when it comes to speed backs, especially when you get to a budget type of player, you're going to see a lot. Is you're going to see players that are more or less really good at speed and really good at that, but they have no carrying. And a lot of times, a lot of real good speedsters never have carrying that great. So that's definitely you know an issue you will see a lot. 
Um, next guy, let's go with wide receiver. And uh, Jermaine Curse right here is a very, very nice budget wide receiver. Now, he's 81 catching, 81 release, 81 spec catch. But if you go ahead and put this guy in the slot and just have him run your drags and slants, going to get open a lot and definitely going to make a lot of good plays. Definitely recommend going after him. Um, other than that, going down the list here, I don't really see any guys. Tyreek Hill is all, I mean, he's pretty much just a burner. He doesn't really have catching as much. And he's just going to destroy people when it comes to kick return, pump returns, and out one people. Same thing with the Jermaine Curse. Put him on a, a slant or a drag. And because his price has come down a lot, he is actually more and more usable. Um... Going to 85 to 86 overall range, there's a lot of legends, obviously. This Tavon Austin is a a destroyer. I'm just going to call him a destroyer because he is a great budget player. Around You could probably get him around like 14, 15K majority of the times. And he's about 91 speed, 81 catching, 81 spec catch, 87 elusiveness, uh, 75 release, again, slot or drag routes, 85 route running, and an 83 jumping. Definitely a very nice player. Same thing with this Brandon Cooks, another really, really great player. And he even has better catching at 84. So again, a lot of good type of budget players that are just going to be able to, you know, get open. And that's the thing. If you have a budget team, I feel like more or less, you're going to want to go for these type of guys with like 92 speed, Marquise Goodwins, where they're just going to be able to outrun someone and get open. Against these like really stacked rosters, against these really stacked teams, the one thing a lot of players do not have is they have really good physical big corners, right? But not always do they have speed. And speed kills. A you know guy with 92 speed, he's gonna outrun a guy or cornerback with 89 speed. You know even if the cornerback cornerback is way better than him, it doesn't matter when it comes to one on one matchups. So with that in mind, these speedy type receivers are gonna be able to get open and be able to you know get down the field. So again. If I'm talking about receivers when it comes to a budget, I'm going to talk about, I'm not talking about the possession receivers, the, you know, deep, oh, no, not deep threat, sorry. The possession, you know, always going to catch the ball receivers because you, you're not going to be able to afford that at this price range. If you want to make sure you guys never drop the ball, you're going to have to spend a lot more coins on a receiver. Tight end wise, looking at tight ends, um, always Jared Cook, Austin Hooper. These guys are always very nice players. Uh, let's see if we can find Jared Cook real fast. Hunter Henry's cards are always nice little budget cards that usually don't go for too, too much. Um, what's the card? Austin Hooper right here, 79 speed. Um, Jesse James, see what his stats look like. 82 speed, definitely a very nice player with that 79 run block. So he's going to be able to help out a lot. And this is probably the best budget tight end in the game, being Evan Ingram. Just getting 6 foot 3, 88 speed. Um, obviously, 84 catching, 82 release, 84 route running. A very, very nice glitchy receiver uh, slash tight end that's going to be able to get open a lot. Again, cannot find Jared Cook right now. But I know Jared Cook cards are always glitchy. I know there was a budget. Oh, here we go. 16,000 coins. And again, a very, very nice tight end card. So tight ends is a little bit more difficult to find a really good one. Like this Vernon Davis, who's more of a possession receiver type of tight end. This is a two type of tight end, guys. We have receiving tight ends and we have blocking tight ends. If you can get both of them together, usually they're going to cost a premium. And, you know, obviously Vernon Davis is going to be more of a, you know, speedster receiving tight end. Now, Jared Cook is kind of more of a premium tight end in both of the categories. His receiving stats are not that great and neither is his run block. But at the same time, it's going to be, for a budget, a pretty good budget player. Going to left tackle, Jake Matthews, pretty much team of the week players are the best budget players when it comes to offensive linemen. So, for example, the Jake Matthews, very, very nice player. Uh, let's see this guy right here. Exactly, Charles Lino, the junior, is a very, very nice player at 90 pass block. If you want to go ahead and get like any budget when it comes to offensive linemen, I recommend going ahead and going for these type of players like you just saw there, like the team of the week players. They always have really good stats. They're always very good juiced right here. Now, he has 37,000 coins, but he's still a very nice offensive line player. Now, the one thing I got to tell you guys is if when you're building your teams, this is how I build a budget squad, okay? Offensive line is the most important thing you could ever do. Spend all your coins on offensive linemen. Get a mobile quarterback that can move around and actually, you know, do something. Jared Goff, 75 speed, that's going to be your man. 
wide receivers, get speedsters. Tyreek Hill, Marquise Goldwyn, Jermaine Kers, get those kind of fast receivers. Halfback wise, get one that's good at trucking, Derrick Henry, and get one that's really, really fast. I don't think, I can't think of one on top of my head. Alvin Kamara, Football Outsiders. Uh, not Football Outsiders. I think it's Team of the Week. Uh, he has like a 83 overall. Oh, I believe. That card. Get him and add him to your squad. He's going to have really fast. Deion Lewis, Team of the Week card. We looked at earlier. It's a really fast guy too. That's how I uh, do my budget for offense. This Cameron Wake is an amazing, amazing, amazing budget 4-3 defense alignment. You see right here, he's only 20k, 75 speed, 82 strength, 82 tackle, 77 block jet, but that power to finesse move ratio is disgusting, with that play rec also being very, very good. Definitely recommend going after him. Next guy, let's actually go down the list a little bit for more of a low overall budget player. Um, looking at low overall budget players, again, team in the week players are so freaking good at this. Um, right here, Chris Long for a little bit less than 15k. You can probably give him around 12k. He's going to have very disgusting stats for 4 3, you know, budget defense alignment. Um, I'm trying to see if I can find a 3 4 type of defense alignment. Nah, he's not, he's not gonna be a 3 4 type of defense alignment. Um, let's see. Okay, so here's a little bit better of a 3-4 type of defense alignment. By the way, guys, 3-4 is going to be based on strength and block shed, while 4-3 is going to be based on speed, power, and finesse move. Uh, think of a 4-3 as a pass rusher. Think of a 3-4 as a one-stopper defense alignment. So that would be a really good player to look at. It's going to be um, Air, uh, Solomon Thomas right there. Let's go ahead and switch over to the right end position. And obviously, defense alignment are very versatile. Most of them can play both single position right or left end. So it's not what really like we have to look at too much when it comes to this. But nonetheless, let's see if we can find any better players to kind of pick out and you know pick and choose on who we would like to go with. Um, when it comes to right end... Looks like there's not really any. I know this Miles Garrett personally playing with him. He actually plays really, really good. I definitely recommend going with him. Um, but yeah, hang on, guys, one second. All right, guys. So now looking at right end, as you can see here, the best right end for budget wise will be this Miles Garrett. Now I personally have used him so many freaking times. He is a beast and a half to deal with. Now, the good thing about him is he's very versatile. He's a 3-4, 4-3 type of guy. You can use him in both schemes. It doesn't matter which scheme you use him in. Very, very nice and versatile player. Now, again, we already looked at left ends. So, right ends are kind of in that mixed breed of... It's hard to say, like, okay, well, right end and left ends are so versatile. They can be used in different situations. It's really hard to look at one and pinpoint one. Now, Everson Griffin's a great budget for three defensive ends. So, if you're about that 4-3 life, he's going to be a very great player. Right here, we have this guy, Jason Taylor, who's also a really good 4-3 player. Um, Mike Daniels, oh, sorry, four, yeah, 4-3. Four, and then 3-4, this is going to be Mike Daniels. He's an amazing 3-4 budget right end. So, again, a lot of good budget players in this price range. A lot of the legends are actually really good budget players too. So, let's go ahead and look at D-Tackle. Now, D-Tackle-wise, Marcel Darius is a very good, you know, uh, what's it called? 3, uh, oh, he actually would be a 4-3. Hmm. I actually do not know what the Bills actually run, but this card is actually Buns anyway. He'd be more of a 3-4 type of defensive tackle with the speed and the block shed. I mean, with the speed and the strength, but the block shed's really low. Would not go ahead and go for him. Um, he would be more of a 4-3 type of guy. And actually, Javon Hargrave it does not look bad. And he'd be a pretty decent 4-3 D tackle with the speed being a little bit higher. So, not too bad in that angle. Let's go ahead and look at more budget type of players lower in the scheme. My man right here. When we started off this year, I said... Uh, Pia, Pia, Safan, Pia, Pia, how you say his name? He was going to be the best budget player this whole entire year. Now, as you can see right here, he is a 3-4 D tackle. And he looks amazing to a certain degree. His block shit is not the best. Um, his speed is not the best, but for 3-4 D tackle, speed is nothing. 
Uh, his strength is amazing, and that's probably why I would go recommend going for him. Around 15,000 coins is not bad in any kind of, you know, direction. Now, this is more of a 4-3 type of guy. Obviously, not the best stats because he's only 84 overall. Um, you can go with Marcel Darius. What is he? What does he boost? 94 strength, okay? So, he'd be more of a... The D-tackle is a hard position to get a good budget player at. Because a lot of these guys, because the low overall, is going to have lower block shed. So they're not going to be able to really get you anything good. Now, left us our linebacker-wise. I'm going to start off with going with a couple of players. Lawrence Timmons, great, great player. He's more of a 4-3 type of defensive end. But nonetheless, I mean, linebacker. But nonetheless, very, very nice player. Going down the list here, Jamie Collins. Jamie Collins it does not look bad at that playback, but everything else. Oh, sorry, not Jamie Collins. Willie McGill, uh, McGinnis. McGinnis. Um, Leonard Floyd. This is actually a guy I personally have used. When I went ahead and sold my team and I had all budget players, I went ahead and used this guy right here, and he balled out for me. I, I mean, stat-wise, he does not look like the best player in the game, but he just gets right past the right left tackle, and he gets right to the quarterback. He's amazing in quarterback contains. He's amazing when you, you go ahead and spy him. He's able to always be disruptive on every single play. Definitely recommended based on just playing with him. Obviously, some of these players I can't recommend, you know, because I've not played with every player, but that is a guy I played with, and he is amazing. Derek Morgan is really great uh, 3 4 defensive end, or 3 4 defensive end, or 3 4 linebacker. Now, the reason why I say defensive end, too, is because you can put your linebackers in a, on a defensive line. So, for example, if you put Morgan on the defensive line, that 78 speed doesn't look that bad when he's a right or left end. So, just keep that in mind, guys, especially when you're going for budget. He is a very nice budget right or left end you can use from a linebacker position as an end position. Mod Books, same concept, very, very nice pass rusher, very, very nice run stopper. Again, could put him on the end spot and go ahead and get to the quarterback that way. Now, when it comes to, like, if I was designing a, a budget squad, I would probably get players like uh, Landon Collins at my left side linebacker. I would probably put my Anthony Barr as my right, and I'd probably go ahead and put Dale Morgan and Mod Books as my right and left end. Now, that's just personally how I would do it, just based on the fact that, you know, that that's if I had a budget to work with, that would work out for me. Now, when it comes to middle linebacker, there's no better player, in my opinion, when it comes to price, low budget price, full actual stat and player wise than Hassan Reddick. Hassan Reddick is freaking amazing and definitely recommended. 87 speed. I use him personally again when I didn't have my GOAT squad and he was a baller. That 87 speed helps you get around the whole entire field and cover pretty much everything possible. Very, very nice and recommended player. Uh, another really good guy here is going to be Wesley Woodyard. Very nice block shed, very nice speed, very nice play rack, very nice hit power. Definitely a very nice player. Um, another guy I love to recommend is going to be all, uh, you know, yeah. no matter what player, like no matter what uh, card art of this guy is, Deion Buchanan, always a baller, always a monster. Middle linebacker, there's a lot of good budget players, just saying. This guy right here, Draw Davis, very nice player. McKenney, let's see what his stats look like. Uh, not the best, not the best. Um, obviously, Ryan Shazier is always one of the best players right here. He's always a user beast and a user monster. Um, and if we're going to go with more coverage ability, though, let's say you want to go ahead and leave this guy by himself and not have to go ahead and user him. Getting more of the coverage ability, Eric Hendricks would be a very nice player with his 81 zone. And that would be more of a, you know, just want to leave him by himself. So let's go ahead and look at right outside linebacker. And the same concept applies for right, left, right end, left end. All the players combined, they're all in that same kind of tier you can use, uh, especially when the speed gets a little bit higher. You can put them at linebacker when the speed's a little bit lower, put them at defensive lineman positions. Uh, Michael uh, Kendricks is always good no matter what card you have. Maybe you have this card, you have his most feared card. Always a monster to deal with. This Derek Brooks is also a very good card. Another card that I was actually using, Telvin Smith. Um, obviously, Talvin Smith. If you get his power up, his power up version is unfakeable, which is pretty OP and pretty good. 
Um, nonetheless, though, not a great card in Campbell. But the card that I was actually using a lot, and he's going to cost a little bit more, but if you have some coins to spend, it definitely 100% rec recommended. It's going to be not this one. Where is he? Again, he's going to cost a little bit more. So my, maybe not a budget type of player. This Ryan Kerrigan is actually a one of the best in the game. And it's kind of funny how he's only 30k because I put against him so many times. And he has gotten past my elite offense alignment. So definitely recommended there. Again, Michael Kendricks. A very, very nice player. As this... my Yeah, never mind. I thought there was a sniper first. This Kendricks is amazing. This is another guy that's amazing. His price has gone up a lot when it probably shouldn't have. But nonetheless, LT's 88 overall. You can probably get him around 50,000 coins. Very, very nice. Glitchy player. Obviously, Lamonte David is also glitchy and very nice again now we're getting kind of into the more expensive type players but nonetheless very nice players right here uh byron maxwell is a very nice player definitely stats you know 90 uh zone which does suck because you have to get some kind of motivator to get him to 91 unless you have seahawks tier 4 then you could be fine in that aspect but nonetheless, it does suck. You can't get him up there unless you have a you know some kind of boost other than his chemistry, which doesn't give him a boost. Um, other than that, looking at more of a lower uh, type of players, um, the issue with this is you're not going to get any 91 zone players when it comes to a cheap budget type of guy. Um, right here, you know, Desmond Trufant, very, very nice player. And I kind of feel like in this price range, if you're going for budget at cornerback, I would always recommend just going ahead and trying to get the, you know, cheapest, fastest, kind of decent stat-wise type of players. And these will be like the true uh, Tremaine Johnsons, the Desmond Trufants, the Vano Darby's. Why did his price shoot up in price so much? But again, these type of players are going to be the type of players I recommend going for. Now, obviously, if you do not have a lot of coins... I, again, I always recommend going for speed, going for zone coverage mainly because man is so broken in this game. So probably players like, let's say, Jimmy Smith, nah, Jermaine Johnson, nah, Terrence Newman. Prince has to have good speed, right? 84. Ugh. Brandon Carr, the new Brandon Carr, great example. Budget beast. Right, 87 speed is going to keep up with all these faster guys. He doesn't have the coverage ability, but he has the ability to keep up with them. This is actually a really key budget type of tip here. It's going to be football outsiders when it comes to the secondary position are always the best players when it comes to speed, salvation, you know, coverage ability. EJ Gaines, good example. Very, very nice players when it comes to these type of positions. I used to walk with Jalen Ramsey. He's a great player. Makes a lot of jumps on balls. He's a very good player altogether. Um, Kendall Fuller is a very good player. Again, these football outsiders are like pretty much budget gold when it comes to these you know positions. Uh, another guy, Buster's screen right here. And of course, looking at um, Anthony Brown. This man, his stats lie to you, okay? He is one of the best cornerbacks in this game. I have not had more, I have no player has had more picks with me than that guy right there. Just telling you that now. <laughs> I had about seven or eight interceptions um, in one like season thing with him. Kevin Bernard, Bernard, how do you say his name? This guy right here, bam, budget beast, 81 zone. Uh, 88, what is that, 88 speed, very, very nice player, and again, when it comes to budget, you have to keep in mind, there's not much area to, you know, like, when it's like, well, I want a guy with 91 zone, if you gotta get, if you gotta get a guy with 91 zone, you're not gonna have any speed on him, and he's gonna be buns, so that's just how it works, you know, you have to kind of sacrifice one thing, and I feel like when you're going for more of a budget type of player, if you have to sacrifice anything, when it comes to secondary, I would rather sacrifice, um, speed, Sorry, sorry, zone and coverage ability, then speed. Because even if a guy can cover perfectly, if he can't catch up with anyone, it doesn't matter. This Julio Jones is actually really, really good. 91 speed, 91 zone. Definitely recommend picking up this Julio Jones. If you have 35,000 coins, even if you just want to try him out, he's a very, very nice player stat-wise. Definitely recommend picking him up. Other than that, let's go ahead and look at strong safety. Looking at strong safety, um... Prior, prior is not too bad. 88 zone. Does he have... Oh, I don't... 
why doesn't he have what's it called? Uh, why doesn't he have um, read and react? He could get to 90 zone, and then with any kind of boost, you could get him up to 91. Very disappointed. L wish a lot of these players had read and react chemistry, especially if you don't have 91 zone. Nonetheless, though, mm, nothing too crazy right here. Not bad guy right here. Tavon Wilson Sr. Not a bad card right there. Um, TJ Woods, very, very nice card. Very, very nice card. Definitely love using him. Um, looking down the list, uh, Von Bell, very, very glitchy card. I wouldn't say really that great, but glitchy is all heck. Um, right here, TJ McDonald. And again, a lot of good type of players. I don't know why Keenan Allen does not look good. He has 87. I mean, he doesn't look bad. He's definitely usable. He just doesn't have like the, the stats I would like to have for a budget type of player. So guys, hopefully this helped you out. If it did, make sure to like and subscribe button. Make sure you also share this video with a friend if they are looking for some budget players. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.